Today we're going to tackle SMD soldering or surface mount device soldering. SMD soldering is a different technique than regular through hole soldering. In through hole soldering you add heat to the pin and then apply solder. It's a little bit different with SMD soldering. Now in addition to your soldering station, preferably a temperature controlled one although you don't need that, you're going to need a smaller tip for your soldering iron. You're also going to need some solder, some tweezers or a helping hand, a magnifying loop or magnifying glass, some solder wick, and it will help to have solder flux. I'm using a flux pen, which I think works real well. The test subject for this tutorial is our 28-pin FTDI chip and circuit board. Now your magnifying loop is going to be your best friend as we need to get a close look. You can also use a magnifying glass or some high power reading glasses, whatever works best for you. Now you're going to want to have a clean soldering tip and you can make your own with a brass kitchen scrubby. Just put it in a small container and that'll keep your solder tip nice and clean. Okay, let's get started. We're going to apply the solder flux to the circuit board contacts. This flux helps the contacts to attract the solder. Now it's time to lay the FTDI chip in place on the board. Pay attention to pin 1 as it corresponds with the notch on the circuit board. It will definitely help if you can secure the chip to the board once it's in position. I'm using an alligator clip to hold it all in place. Let's get started. Place a small amount of solder on the soldering tip and gently touch one of the corner pins so we can secure the chip. We'll examine that closer in a second, but we want to make sure the chip is secured to the board so we can continue. Now flip the board and chip around and we're going to work on the other side. Again, we're going to apply some solder flux all along the chip pins. Then apply another small dot of solder and touch it to the corner pin. Here's a magnified view and this solder connection looks good. There's just enough solder on the pin and the board and it's not jumping over to the other pin. Now we'll repeat the procedure for the second pin. Now here's what happens if you add too much solder. The solder is going to jump over to the pin next to it creating what's called a solder bridge and this is not good. Now here's where the solder wick is going to come in handy. It's basically flat strands of tiny copper wires that are threaded together and they pick up solder and remove it. You can also use solder flux and carefully swipe with the tip of your soldering iron to wipe the solder away. In this case I used both solder wick and flux and we fix that connection. With some practice a technique called drag soldering can help you solder much faster. Create a relatively large drop of solder on the solder tip then slowly drag it over the toes of the pins. Make sure you go slow enough to allow enough solder to wick around each pin and a close-up view reveals that there was enough solder for each pin and no bridges. Now to ensure you have no solder bridges, use your multimeter and put it in the continuity mode. When the leads touch, it'll beep. Now touch each pin and the pin next to it and make sure you don't hear any beeping. So with patience, care and a steady hand, SMD soldering can be accomplished by you. And remember, practice makes perfect. If you missed any of my other Kip K tips, click the end cards on the screen to check those videos out. More Kip K tips next week. Thanks for watching.